Hello players, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and today we're gonna be talking about something spicy 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 while playing some Watch Dogs Realms. The spiciness is in regards to why you should not summon this weekend, so stay tuned and see this insanity. So, call me crazy, but I will not be summoning this weekend. And there are multiple reasons why, and I'm gonna tell you right here, right now, so maybe you won't be summoning this weekend as well. So, first of all, let's address the fact that I do not by any means say that Hex Auxilia 2 aren't good. I've been using Hex ever since I got him. Hex is one of my best heroes in my on my account. He is very, very, very nice hero-wise. Uh, has a little bit more versatility than Zilla 2 but nonetheless both of them are extremely good in guild boss right so why not summon well in order to make this video as short as possible i'm gonna lay it out for you right from the start so we've seen an example of meta changes during the valentine's day event right that's where we've gotten lust and we've gotten arrogance together ever since then many players have used lust and arrogance together in lineups for guild boss that actually surpass 50k and go up until there for like top 100 or even less in guild boss so uh, that's one example of meta changes another example of future meta changes that are going to come is going to be the valderon one because he's going to be a chaotic lord that's going to provide a lot of damage he's going to be one of the best single target dps we're gonna have ever so besides that he's also going to be a lord he's going to provide a lot of damage to um heroes that are already good in the um guild boss right that would be valyria as well besides that we're gonna have in the future iovar which is going to be a new piercer lord he's going to dish a lot of damage himself as well so currently in the chaos dominion we have gun which is a defender would you say gun can provide some space for chaotic units in the guild boss definitely not would you say that gun can provide at least a lot of damage in the guild boss definitely not so this is why people don't use gun or chaotic units in the guild boss because he's not viable do you think that valdron is going to provide something more viable for chaotic units to be placed in the guild boss definitely then we will have araka or aracha right so do people deal damage with araka no definitely not they are just putting her in um typical immigration set and placing her there just to, for invig and using her lord bonus which is not bad by any means but iovar is going to dish a lot of damage himself as well so what do you do when you have popular lords for popular factions that also deal a lot of damage we're also again going to see a meta change so do you really want to actually summon for zilatu for example which isn't going to benefit from the Lord bonus of Valderon, isn't going to benefit from the Lord bonus of Iovar. And let's say you get one of them, or who knows, maybe you're lucky and you're getting both of them and you want to put them in your in your um, guild boss lineups. What do you do with Zilatu? Even though she's so amazing in, in guild boss, right? So you're going to be faced with a decision of trying to use the hero you got because you spent the resources for him or actually use a new hero that you got that is more powerful that is um, better at what um, other heroes are already doing so this is the tricky part with gacha games because you are being faced with decisions like this so this is why i'm here to actually refresh your mind and maybe at least give you some food for thought right because this is not a popular decision this is not a popular opinion so i really think that you will benefit from getting them but maybe it wouldn't be as valuable as it would be if you would save for a future hero that is going to come because in gacha games there's also going to be better and better and better and when it comes to a hero that is so old as zilla 2 is for example and that's going to have no benefit with upcoming future lords that we know are going to be good in single target dps scenarios then there is no value so let's say Zilla 2 in that specific context in the future meta if we are to look a little to have a little bit of farsight and look a little bit into the future we have Iovar, we have Valderon, we have the last meta, we have the 
um, piercer meta, right? What do we do with Zilletu? We can do really anything, right? Because we'll have some other heroes that are going to benefit more in guild boss with those specific lineups. So let's go back now in the present and think about if you should summon, right? We should also not forget about the future guild boss fights that are going to come. We know that there are going to be some different arms that the new guild boss is going to have. Different arms with different vulnerabilities, with different powers. Some different arms are going to be more susceptible to physical damage. Some different arms are going to be more susceptible to magical damage. So I think that especially if there's going to be a rotation in the guild boss arms or whatever is going to be, that's going to provide a lot of versatility. Versatility that isn't going to help Zilletu, meaning that she's going to be pretty easily replaced. Hex as well, right? But uh, Hex more less likely than Zilletu would be. So Hex, maybe he will benefit from Iovar, right? So maybe he's valuable. But do you really want to risk summoning Razak? or Zilletu that's potentially going to be worse in the future in the guild boss meta just because you wanted hacks personally i wouldn't do that i have hacks a0 as i said he helped my account i think his a1 is one of the best awakenings in the game but i really think that saving my resources that are pretty scarce anyway right now i'm not part of the youtuber creator program or whatever it's called for the watcher or moonton um, company even though i would like to be in the future um i still wouldn't use my resources on it, on this banner so i think this makes sense for me and i hope this makes sense for a lot of you guys i know many people actually in the scene are telling you to summon many people are actually telling you that this is actually one of the best weekends in the game that we've gotten so far and i really do think these types of weekends are truly amazing in terms of uh, summoning right because judging by what we have right now it is kind of amazing we have a 2x by 10 by 15x which is great right and we have two amazing heroes with uh, at least a decent one which is razak we also have the limited with his which is reeve and many people want him so if you are in a similar position with me in which you have reeve in which you have hex i really think you shouldn't summon and that's going to be it. I'm just going to leave it at that. I hope this makes sense. I hope uh, you don't find me crazy. Um, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Share this video with others if you think it's insane enough to be shared. Make fun of me if you want. Make fun of me in the comments below. I'll respond to that as well. Even though my peop some people might uh, advise me not to. But uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. This has been Andy, Event Horizon Gaming. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, to comment. Let me know how insane I am in the comments below. I read every single comment that I see and I respond to every single comment I see. Thank you for watching again. Have an amazing weekend. See you guys.